My girls hold me down, them boys mess around. My love life is a mess. We're going out tonight because I'm looking for love. That's right, y'all. We are talking about Sisters Season 2, Episode 19, Severing Ties. I don't know who's severing ties in this. Y'all let me know down in the comment section because I was like, is it um Zach severing ties with Karen? You know, who's severing ties? Oh, oh, that's right. Sabrina severed ties with um, Calvin, maybe? Okay. Anyway, before we get started, let me give my shout outs to all the new people in my comment section holding my channel down. We got Lamont Simpson, Ray J. Love, Bobby Ray, Brandon Bradley, uh, Celine Breeden, Jennifer Calhoun, Ty Harrell, Usha Morrison, Tiffany Harrell, Isaiah Hill, Shanice Says, Cynthia Jedkins, she's new, Marlene Ramsey is new, Justine Broxton, and Karen Wilson. Those are the ones I, I wrote down real quickly, but I know I got other lists around here somewhere. But anyway, and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the little red subscribe button down here and then hit the little notification bell next to it so you'll be reminded every time I upload a new video, which is usually daily. Usually. Some of my friends told me they're not getting my the notifications that I'm uploading something, but if I'm saying I'm uploading something daily, then is probably and I'm uploading it on two different channels so just if y'all get responses from me from two different names that's who I am Barbie J okay so subscribe help my channel grow I'm so happy I love all your comments please always comment now let's get started because we know that it started with I'm gonna have to keep looking down because that light ring is in my glasses y'all like my hat I went to a funeral today not that that's my, not why I'm smiling, but I found this hat in the closet and I was like, where did I get this hat from? I love it. So I, I, I wanted, I walked around my house with it on all day, like a crazy woman, but I love this hat. I love men's hats. I have all kind of hats. So church hats, African rap hats, baseball caps. I love my hats. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my hat. I really like this hat anyway. So so it started off with Maurice, you know, he comes home and he hears the two men in there and somebody getting it on and having sex and stuff. And one of the guys come out and find out his name is Q and he's a stripper and he said he was high. And so they thought it was, Maurice thought it was a weed, but he said, no, it's meth. So anyway, he said, oh man, he come out talking about your boy is amazing in there. And so Maurice is thinking it's Calvin. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think it's Calvin in there. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of storyline Tyler Perry is going to use to say who's in that room. I can't see Calvin allowing two strangers to go into Maurice's apartment and use his apartment. Like say he was getting money, he needed money, and they needed a place to stay the night or something. I just can't see somebody doing that because that that's grounds for a big fight and breaking up a relationship. You don't just do that. But it just could not. But then the other thought I had is that uh, Maurice was, um, not Maurice, Calvin was doing that on purpose and pretending, you know, that he's doing something to mess with Maurice. But it's not seeming that way after what happened at the bank. Anyway, let me see what else happened. So um, he asked what's in, he, he comes out there and he's talking to Maurice and back and forth. He asks what's in the refrigerator and he goes in there. I said, his man that not go in the bathroom and wash his hands how you letting him go in your refrigerator but Maurice was so dumbstruck that looking at that chocolate nice body in front of him he was like damn he didn't know what to do with himself Maurice was all into that you know so so he said I'm thirsty and Maurice is not not as thirsty as I am <laughs> and so once the guy go back in his room he said his name was Q and I thought it was so funny when Maurice started with the Q R S T U V W X. He started reciting the alphabet. I was like, okay, Maurice is funny. I need a I need a fan. It's getting hot in here. Every time I start laughing and stuff. Anyway, so then they go to Karen and Aaron. They are so boring. They're, they're seeing it so boring to me. But you know, she's hot and horny in the bed. You know you messing with a, a reverend or pastor, whoever. He ain't giving you none. Even though when he at the beginning when he was horny, you was stopping it. So 
Eh, it's payback time, I guess. So he lying next to her. She in bed. She don't like it. He has to go sleep in the living room because she was too excited. And she wanted some and he wasn't giving it to her, even though he wanted to. And so she calls Sabrina in the middle of the night for what purpose? It didn't make any sense. And I knew somehow he was going to end up hearing. So she calls her and you know, Sabrina, is everything okay? You never call me this late. You sure? You sure? You will? You will? I'm like, oh God, just hang up already, Sabrina. She said, I'm fine. I want to talk to you. <sighs> And then, um, so of course, Aaron heard, he said he had to get up and pee. So, and he's like, um, mm. he said, so is that going to help? And she's like, what? And he said, telling the girls, won't it just make it, make her, make her mad or something like that? He was saying, and she was like, no, no, no. If she won't talk to me, maybe she'll talk to one of the other girls, you know, you know, he was like, but don't you think she said, look, that's how we roll. We got this. That's how we roll. We got each other. So he's like, okay. And she was like, don't you have to pee or something? She's like, like, you like mind your business, you know? <laughs> so she sent him on his way. Then we got Andy gets that delivery of flowers. You know, she, she, something about her when she, she, she turns this on and off attitude. And I feel like she does the attitude at the wrong time. You know, she's getting funky with the, the guy at the door, but you the one to keep getting flower deliveries and sending them back. And so, and she, his, what's his name? Nicholas or something. So she's telling Nicholas to take them back down. And, you know, he's like, I have a question. You know, he's like, if you don't want these deliveries, flowers from him or anything from Gary, why not take his name off of the, the, the list downstairs about of people being able to come upstairs? He said, I know it's none of my business. You know, she's like, no, it's not. I said, girl, please. No, it's not. See, he said, I was just trying to help, just trying to help. And he said, you know, you're a beautiful woman and you deserve better because he know what everybody's saying. So now she getting upset. There she go getting defensive because he said she deserved better. And she, she's like, oh, look, I can handle myself. What I do know is I can handle myself. And she, she basically was like, thank you. And basically like slammed the door in his face. I was like, damn. So she gets upset. She going to run over to that box and try on that forever ring. And that, that, that ring that, um, Gary gave her and the sucker got stuck on her finger. Good for her. <laughs> but that's funny. That ring, who makes a ring like that? Once you put it on, it tightens on your finger so that it's forever you can't never take it off you know how people get mad and throw it at people <laughs> or you can't worry about it falling off when you washing dishes and stuff so her dumb butt gonna run over there and get butter really when she she could have stayed by the sink she runs around to the front and rubs butter on it that don't she do it one little bit it's like honey you gotta rub it on and then slide it and then she runs to the bathroom and she got oil probably with some baby oil trying to get that that didn't work then she calls the people at the store. She finds the number. I can't never find no store number that quick, but she seemed to have found it. And she's calling, and they're like, oh, yeah, you got to need the key to unlock it. She said, what key? The groom's ring unlocks it. The groom's ring? She was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> she was like, this is bullshit. She was so mad, but she that's what she get for trying it on. She was so busy thinking about it. Mm, let me look at it. I should have came in here with a big rock on it to, to imitate her. Ew. Anyway. So then, um, so she had to get stuck with that ring on. Then Fatima and Zach are in bed, and they getting it in for early in the morning. Early in the morning. I'm liking them two together. And she's, like, saying how she feel like they hear rhythm and stuff. And, you know, and um, he was like, you know, they were getting kind of serious. She, I think she's feeling him, really, but they both are feeling each other. And she said something to him. He, she told him he need to get used to people telling him the truth, you know. And she said she can tell him the truth without tearing him down. Because he brought up my ex. My ex would have done ex-free zone. She, Fatima don't want to hear about nobody's ex. And I like that about her. She don't want to hear none of it. Keep it somewhere else. So he was like, she said, I got you. And he said, yeah, you did ride with me on that drug shit, you know. And, and um, she said, I'm not that woman. She was a fool not to know that, what did you say, what she had. And, you know, and he was like, are we getting serious up in here? She's like, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? She said, I don't know yet. She just, just how I feel. 
So anyway, they gonna want to take a shower together. She don't want to get her hair messed up, but she said, okay, I'll do that side of the shower. I was like, please don't show us another shower scene, Tyler, because then I'm gonna be hot up in here like Maurice was. Anyway, so then Danny and Sabrina, they arrive at Karen's salon, and she's telling them about Andy and Gary and what went down and how she caught her and stuff. And Sabrina's asking questions and doing all of the talking with Karen. And boy, I'm loving Danny. Danny just sitting there going, la, 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 la. Danny ain't saying a mumbling word. She's standing there quiet, and I noticed that. And they finally said, you know, because Sabrina was asking all these questions. Well, are they getting married? Are they this? I don't know. I don't know. So they said, why are you so quiet? I thought you'd be happy we share with you because, you know, this. And she goes, this is what I was trying to do at the bank when y'all wanted me to be quiet and not say anything and stand there and shut up, you know, basically. She was right. She was right. We all know she was right. She kept trying to say, and they kept trying to shut her up. And um, and then Sabrina starts saying, oh, Danny, and Karen's like, no, 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 let Danny speak. You know, because she's like, aren't we just doing the same shit we did with, diff with different men, just older men or whatever, you know, she's, you know, and, and some of the stuff she was saying was even, some of the stuff she said was even similar to what Aaron said to Karen about y'all gotta let her go, let her figure it out, let Andy figure it out for herself, you know, let her, and, and she said, let her come to us, she will, That's what, that was Danny's advice, and she's like, wow, what's gotten into you, and here comes Sabrina, that white boy, and you know, I, I that, that, when the way she said it, it sounded like she was hating on Danny, I, I don't know, Sabrina did something else before, and brought up the white boy, and it's like, are you hating on Danny? I'm having a problem with that. that. I think that's two times I heard her say something that just sound like hateration. So anyway, but y'all can let me know in the comment section because that's how it felt to me. She said, look, just say that I'm right. That's what Danny said. Just say that I'm right. Y'all want to say all this talking, but say that I'm right. Which I, I think um, Sabrina didn't, but I think uh, Karen did. And she said... She said, now I'll go along with y'all. Y'all want me to go? I'll go along with y'all and watch y'all talk to a brick wall because you know we can't make her do anything she don't want to do. You're going to have to let her do what she want to do. So they made plans to meet and, and, and talk with Andy. And they said, and Karen said she's not going to tell Andy that they're coming. Anyway, so it's the next morning. Q comes out the room, uh, Calvin's room, and he's talking with Maurice. And he said, he's he, he said, boy, I'm a marathon man. He said, he's a marathon man too. And he didn't know. He didn't even know. He said, excuse me, but how long have you known Calvin? He said, oh, is that his name? <laughs> he don't even know his name. Damn. I'm sitting there going, what? Okay. Now, if that's not Calvin in there, and you done got two strangers in there using Maurice's apartment, something, I don't know how Tyler gonna write this part, but this is freaking me out. He said he didn't know his name, they just met and stuff, and he's like, oh, so he a hoe, huh? You know, and he a freaky hoe at that. So, Maurice called them stingy bitches, because they didn't, they did um, they didn't include him in a big, they said, why you couldn't include a big bitch to join in with all that muscle and stuff? He said, I asked him, but he said, no, he was embarrassed. I said, what? I was like, this is crazy. I don't know. So, and then you find out that that guy lives with his mom, too. But damn, then Maurice was like, bye, like kicking him out of the house. Get the hell out of my house. And then he knocks on the door, but Maurice doesn't, I mean, Calvin doesn't answer. So he, he goes to work. So then we got, they show Zach at the airport. I didn't understand this part. Zach is yelling at Danny to tell Karen to leave him alone. And he's like, and you better tell him you better. I said, wait a minute, hold up. When he ain't had no place to go, it was Danny's house. When he needed a bat after the shower, it was Danny's house. And food to eat, Danny's house. Why are you yelling at Danny to tell her she better tell Karen something? And, and, and I'm shocked that Karen and Danny sitting there like, okay, mm -hmm, all right, you know, but wouldn't it be better if you told her, you know, he's like, I'm not going to talk to her. But she said, don't you think it'd be better if it came from you? You know, no, I don't want to talk to her. You tell her she's trying to ruin my life. I didn't do it. I told you I didn't do it. She said, I told her that already. I told her she was real calm. But he's yelling at her. I was like, oh, man. 
But Danny, it was funny the way she handled it. He's like, I spent time. I had to go to jail. I was in jail. He, she said, do they feed you well there? <laughs> because he didn't want to eat. She's like, you want some breakfast? No, I want no breakfast. Spent the weekend night in jail. He making it seem like it was worse than it was. He spent the night getting it on and on and on and then in the shower. So why are you all tense and yelling when you just got some good ush stuff going on? Come on. I don't like the way they like making um Zach at this point. He should be really relaxed and like, look, just do me a favor, you know. But yelling at the person, the the the, the person delivering the message, not. Nah. Anyway, so then Maurice comes into work and Jacoby's like, hey, bitch, bitch, what up, bitch? I was <laughs> like, oh my god, hey, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Maurice was like, what the. What is going on with him, man? And so, you know, he he ended up telling him, you know, stop doing that. It's not right. He's like, well, you know, I I, I Sabrina told me to do it. He said Sabrina told me to do that and and stretch it out, bitch. And she said that um she told me what happened with Alonzo, and he said I just wanted to say sorry, bitch. <laughs> he was like, if you don't stop, <laughs> he said first of all, Sabrina's stupid. So don't listen to Sabrina. <laughs> He's like, so, so Sabrina comes in and Maurice notices the body language. And all of a sudden he said, you MF is what's effing. He's like, yo, and I know you was. He's like, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. You know, Sabrina with all of that and stuff. And they go back and forth and she finally admits what went down. She said, we only went out for drinks. And then he came back to my house. And for what? Talking about, well, did, for dessert, for some butt cake. I said, did, did he say bunt and butt together? Butt cake and some caramel surprise? <laughs> Maurice be cracking me up. He was coming up with all of this stuff. And she's like, we didn't have sex because I'm still feeling, you know, Calvin. I couldn't do anything. See, she wanted to. I told y'all. She, she did it on the first night, I think, with Calvin, too. Anyway, she's still feeling Calvin, and he's like, mm, you better let that ship go on. Just go. She's like, what, what? He's like, no, nothing, nothing. He says, so plus, what happened? But what happened? Plus, She goes, plus, he scared me. His dick was so big. It's not human. I said, damn, Jacoby. What is Jacoby working with? What? Maurice was like, <laughs> Maurice was like, you bitches get on my nerve. Why you always got to be straight? <laughs> Maurice was so mad. I hate you, bitch. And then she said his dick had a tattoo on it with a smiley face and it winked at her. I was like, first of all, I don't remember him showing it to her. She, I know she said, ew, don't do that. Like, don't take it out. But I didn't remember him opening his pants and actually pulling it out. So y'all let me remind me because I didn't remember that part. But damn, you look at somebody's dick and it got a tattoo on it. He got to be take a lot of pain to get a tattoo on your dick. It's just like, really? So, anyway, <laughs> so Maurice ended up telling Sabrina about what happened the night before at his apartment with Calvin, and she's pissed. He made it seem like, oh, no. she said, well, what did he say? What did he say? He said, he said, uh, oh, uh, oh, she's like, stop it. <laughs> she was like, stop it. You know what I mean? He's like, I haven't had a chance to talk to him, but I was... <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, that's what he said. I'm sorry, y'all, because I thought that was so funny. And so, um, yes. <laughs> okay. So she gets mad. <coughs> she gets mad. <coughs> Excuse me. She gets mad and call Calvin right then and there and yells at him or leaving him a voicemail message. And don't you ever call me anymore. You could at least told me and respected me enough to tell me that you was gay. And then I was like, girl, you only jump into conclusions until you find out the real information. You can't listen to everything Maurice says. God. So, um, what happened? I missed my place now. <laughs> Jesus. Let's do it. Oh, she told him not to call her anymore, period. That was that. So then we go to Tanny calls Karen <coughs> to tell Karen about what Zach said. 
and she was like, he's really pissed. He didn't do it. You know, he did. She's like, no, he did it. The bank said he did it. It's his signature. Did you check his signature? I don't know. She said, but I, she said, well, you know, his, maybe his new, so she's a character. Danny said something about his new girl or new boo or something. She said, we're good. Let her ass pay me my money. Just let me get me my money. She didn't, she act like she didn't care, but I think deep down, she probably still have feelings for him. Just like he still have feelings for her. I have a feeling they're going to end up back together. I ain't even going to lie. I have a feeling. I don't know how Tyler going to do that, but I have it. That feeling. Anyway, so Calvin comes into the bank all pissed and everything. With his attitude. And he's getting mad. And Maurice is asking him questions. And, and, and he's like not understanding, seeing to comprehend why Maurice is asking him these questions. And he's asking him about his night and the noise coming out of his room. Why didn't he say there was no noise in my room or I wasn't home or whatever it was? But Calvin never addressed what he was asking. And Calvin's like, what are you talking about? And then he jumps up and says, Maurice, please tell me that you didn't tell Sabrina that I ha I was in bed with a guy or something like that. And Sabrina walks in the door and Calvin said, yes, um, Maurice said, yes, I did. And she said, yes, he did. And it was like, oh, my God. Then he started going after her. And I'm like, why, Calvin, are you getting mad at Sabrina when you just found out that Maurice is the one who's starting the trouble because he told her that? So I don't know about that scene. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, so he leaves and said, we're through. We're dead. Everybody's fine, fine. And she blocks him and, and then deletes his number right there and fine I don't care you know all of that <clears throat> we know that's not the truth but anyway so that's how they ended and then it ended with Gary calling Andy and she's in the car driving they both in cars driving and she's telling him about the ring got stuck on his finger and he's excited that she tried it on and put it on and she's kind of blushing while she's talking about it but I know she feel like a fool for putting it on she said I just was trying it on I didn't know and he's like well, I, I, I can meet you and bring it. You know, you can't come to my job, but I need you to bring it to my tonight. She's like, I don't want to wear this around the office. I don't want the people to see it. So they make a plan. Fatima's going to go downstairs. Um, He's going to get to the job. And Fatima's going to come down and get the mail in because the, it needs the mail. Um, what is it? Wedding band to unlock it. However, that's a good gadget. If somebody really created that, that's some good stuff. I tell you. Anyway, so they, they they settle that because he's not allowed in the job. So she goes in the parking garage to park her damn car. This is the best part of one of the best parts of the show. She goes to park her car and is met by Gary's ex-wife. Was that Jasmine? And two other females. She said, we about to beat your ass. There she is. We about to beat her ass. I said, now see, didn't Andy just tell her, Nicholas, I can take care of myself? Let's see what she doing. Let's see what she going to do. Because I don't even see Andy knowing how to fight. All I could hear her, we, they showed her scenes for next week yelling, stop, leave me alone or something. She going to get beat up probably. <laughs> she, or Gary going to pull in just in time to save her from getting her, her ASS whooped. I don't know. But anyway, I, I, I like this episode. I did a lot of laughing between Maurice and Danny. They made me laugh this episode. So it was good. Anyway, this is your girl, Bobby J. Hit me up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.